So, um, yet another uh, just a video progress here. Um, I've got the grey there. I sprayed a couple of coats and uh, with a 1200 just uh, got the surface nice and smooth. Um, same on, same here. And, on this end um, just trying to do as best as I can considering I am uh, painting in the middle of the wilderness <laughs> sort of um, so um, I'm gonna get some uh, red uh, red primer on now I've got my red primer here um, so the main areas that I'm concerned about are like this is the bit where I was gonna spray. Obviously, I'm covering a little bit of extra area. And also here, most of the exposure of the metal was around there. Not so much up here, but just covering a section up to a certain point. And then I can uh, flatten, because uh, the tape here will create uh, an uneven surface uh, but then we can blend in that section to the uh, rest of the paintwork and then we will be ready to to spray um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now because um, I'm gonna need to I'm gonna blow there's a little bit of dust around so I'm gonna use the the blower just blow the dust while I spray the primer um, that way avoid uh, those bits of dust sticking to the bodywork um, even though they will come out um, when you sand it down they do come out but if you can avoid it as much as you can then better all right let's have a look I'm gonna do that now so I have the uh, red primer on now and uh, it's come out quite nice and smooth I am happy with that. Um, I will give it a very, very fine um, sundown with uh, maybe a 1500 just to make it as smooth as possible. And also, I will uh, just 1500 everything else quickly in order to um, make sure that. Um, it's all nice and and free from any dust from uh, obviously when I spray this a lot of dust is created and it goes everywhere which is why normally we would cover everything before we spray but um, I'm not too concerned about the dust because I will I will rub this a little bit um, again before spraying it and then I will cover the whole car before I actually spray it. So that's where we we are at the moment. Um, I'm just gonna remove all the, all the yellow tape from those areas and uh, give it that rub down, and then uh, I think we are ready for spraying. Okay, so. Um, I've got the the red on there. It looks a bit shiny at the moment because uh, I just uh, washed um, all the area here. Just gave it a bit of a wash and I was just uh, drying it off. Um, and uh, obviously I had to, like I said, sand the edges off here. Um, so it's nice and smooth with the rest of the body. If you pass your finger through the, this edge, you will feel if there is a bit of a, if there's any difference, any little lumps. I can feel a, a little bit here, actually. Um, may need to rub 
the grey off a little bit here. Now I'm not too concerned that there is some little bits of grey around. Uh, my, my main uh, con concern was, like I said, the area of the metal. I wanted to make sure the area will be uh, properly covered with enough, uh, enough primer. Um, this is okay, this is just plastic, so... And again, it's nice and smooth. So I'm happy with that, and obviously that bit there. Now I just have to wait for uh, for it to dry. I cleaned, and uh, I used the uh, um, what is it? This is a fifteen hundred wet and dry. Um, I use the 1500 to rub all around the areas that I will spray. So I'm sure uh, I mentioned before, but I'm going to spray all this section, the whole rear quarter, up to this point here. Um, and I'm going to spray this bit again the top of the bumper and obviously these areas and the whole of this uh, section here um, at some point I got the idea of uh, color coding this as well but uh, we'll see I, I do want to use the car a little bit at some point in this lifetime <laughs> so if I carry on doing uh, bits um, then it might take a very long time um, this wing here I'm not liking very much uh, it, it's got a chip there and it's also a bit damaged here and here this wing was replaced um, a long time ago um, and uh, I remember buying, it was a black, it came in black prime um, and I gave it to somebody to to paint it um, and what I've noticed now is that um, I don't think they used any any primer underneath so they left the, I know that um, a lot of these parts come already uh, ready primed, uh, ready to paint, but but um, I'm not sure whether it needs to be prepared um, for the color, it's for the actual color that you put on the car, or even have some, uh, some extra prime um, for the paint to stick, because the way this come out, it's almost like the paint just peeled off doing that which just tells me that um, the paint is not s stuck to the wing properly um, and uh, also maybe a little bit of corrosion forming the wing it was just a chip wing um, luckily it's not too bad really it's been there a long time 10 years maybe um, and it may have cost 40 pounds at the time so it's uh, it's, it's not a bad wing I remember uh, trying to fit it it did have a few bits and bobs that wouldn't uh, want to fit properly but um, but it was okay now also here um, the corrosion is starting So before it gets really bad, maybe I should really do something about it. So uh, we're going to see. I may, I may need to do this wing as well at some point. 
um, and well it's just it's gonna match the bonnet since I did the bonnet but uh, that's where we are at the moment um, I think this is uh, ready for paint I know it looks a little bit um, dramatic all different colors everywhere but um, but as long as you wrap down everything that um, that you're gonna spray just make it make the surface um, rough basically then uh, we're allowing the uh, the new paint to stick to it which is my main uh, purpose I don't want it to peel off in a few years um, even though I don't know the, the car may outlive well most <laughs> likely will outlive me um, uh, and uh, hopefully I can uh, finish it before that happens and uh, enjoy it a little bit um, so that's just an, a quick update there um, I think um, the next step is definitely uh, the paint so I'm gonna have to prepare the the area here clean. so yes I just have to prepare the area and clean it a little bit there's a lot of dust here um, so I need to blow it all out and uh, just as I was talking about the front wing I decided to uh, do it now because if I'm going to spray the back um, I can potentially spray the wing and um, and uh, fix fix these bits here the chips which I now discovered there's quite a few here here um, it's not really a bad paint job but um, maybe those uh, stone chips were uh, quite bad um, and then they took bits of the paint off um, but I'm gonna take the opportunity to just rub it down and fill these bits these are not corroded uh, they're just like chip stones and then uh, you can see underneath the, the original prime that was this wing um, so I'm gonna rub it down get rid of all this bits fill that fill those holes and and uh, it's not um, it's not gonna take as long as as the back um, and also obviously make sure the corrosion bit here gets sorted or at least uh, I can put some treatment on it and then paint paint over it that will uh, make this wing last a bit longer um, it's, it's, a, it's a good wing so yeah, I'm gonna take the opportunity to um, make it last a little bit longer um, all right well that's it for the update today um, thank you for watching um, and um, keep an eye for the next video